Okay, this is it. This is Frank Audius Sports, and he is in Iowa. And he was at the Iowa-Michigan game, and I can't tell you the results because Frank is, but I know him, and I like him. I like, like to hear it. Well, anyways, here's Frank to tell you about what's happening in Iowa, a boring state, may I remind you. Real boring. Hello and welcome to This Week in Sports. I'm your host, Frank W. Audia, reporting from Iowa. With special help from our affiliate there, WFIOA in Iowa, right across the street from the site where the Michigan Wolverines met the Iowa Hawkeyes. Report on that game in just a few seconds. The 1984 baseball season officially ended Sunday when the 1984 Detroit Tigers became the World Series champions. Earlier this week, though, the Tigers still making news as Tigers' Rupert Jones and Johnny Grubb filed for free agency while Detroiters Kirk Gibson and Willie Hernandez seek new contracts with the Detroit organization. Hernandez is reportedly seeking a contract that would pay him over a million dollars a year. Two Tigers World Series MVP Alan Trammell and pitcher Milt Wilcox underwent orthoscopic surgery on Friday. Wil Trammell had a fragment removed and a torn cartilage repaired in his left knee and a second operation was performed to mend a superficial tear of the rotator cup in his right shoulder. Wilcox, coming off his best major league season ever, had multiple tendon damage, the result of wear and tear on his arm throughout his pro career. With proper rehabilitation, the two should be ready by spring training. Meanwhile, in college football action today, the Michigan Wolverines visited the Iowa Hawkeyes right here in Iowa, while the Spartans of Michigan State entertained the Ohio Buckeyes. Both the Wolverines and the Spartans coming up on the short end. Highlights right now of the Michigan game. Coach Hayden Fry's Iowa Hawkeyes jump out to an early lead as Hawkeye Ronnie Harmon scores from three yards out. The following evidence of Michigan's inability to move the ball offensively. Michigan with the ball on Iowa's 15, intercepted by Iowa's Avon Mitchell at the one. Mitchell almost goes all the way, but finally hauled down after returning the ball some 70 yards. This was Bo Schimbecker's first loss ever in Iowa and virtually eliminates Michigan's hopes of a Rose Bowl berth. Iowa's quarterback Chuck Long plunges over from the three, adding an insurance touchdown and giving the Iowa Hawkeyes a 26 to nothing victory over the Wolverines. Michigan State also loses today to the Ohio Buckeyes 26 to 23. In the final few seconds of the game, Spartan kicker Ralph Mojashenko missed a 43 yard field goal that would have tied the game. The Detroit Red Wings off to a slow one and four start acquired to the services of Daryl Sittler earlier this week in a trade with the Philadelphia Flyers. Also this week, on Friday, veteran goaltender Ed Mio, because of his poor performance against the, against the Hartford Whalers on Thursday, was sent down to Adirondack, and netminder Corrado Mikloff was called up to take his place. The Wings host the Chicago Blackhawks tonight at Joe Louis Arena. In professional football, the Detroit Lions, who upped their sub-par season record to 2-5 with a 13-7 overtime victory over Tampa Bay, traveled to Minnesota this week for an afternoon contest with the Vikings. The game time is scheduled for 1 o'clock, and it will be televised here in Detroit on Channel 2. The Detroit Pistons, unbeaten in five preseason games, announced their starting lineup for the 1984-85 season opener against the Celtics next Friday. Both Isaiah Thomas and Bill Lambert back at their starting positions, the same as last year, but since John Long has not, as of yet, come to terms with the club, Piston coach Chuck Daly has moved Kelly Trapuca to shooting guard and Terry Tyler, who had earlier been asked to be traded because of his lack of playing time, will start for Kelly at small forward, while newcomer Dan Roundfield will fill the power forward spot. Long, who lowered his salary demand yesterday, could possibly be part of a trade that sends him to Phoenix, where the Suns are in desperate need of backcourt help. In high school football action last night and today, Dearborn losing to Ann Arbor Huron 26 to 14 today. Fortson over Belleville 27 to nothing. Etzel Ford in East Kentwood results unconfirmed at the time of this taping. U of D playing Divine Child tonight and tomorrow DePores versus Saint Alphonsus. I'm Frank Audio. That's it for this week in sports reporting via satellite tape delay from Iowa.